water increases the risk of electric shock due to its conductivity. Here is why. Conductivity, water is an excellent conductor of electricity. When it comes into contact with live electrical wires or devices, it allows the current to flow through it. This can lead to electric shock if a person is also in contact with the water. Path of least resistance, electricity always seeks the path of least resistance. When water is present, it provides an easier route for the electrical current to travel. If you touch a live wire while standing in water, the current can pass through your body, causing injury or even death. Reduced skin resistance, our skin has some resistance to electrical current. However, when wet, the skin's resistance decreases significantly. Wet skin allows electricity to penetrate more easily, increasing the risk of shock. Electrolytes in water Natural water contains dissolved minerals and salts, electrolytes. These ions enhance water's conductivity. Even tap water can be conductive enough to transmit electricity. Appliances and water Using electrical appliances near water, such as hair dryers, electric kettles, or power tools, can be dangerous. If these devices malfunction or have damaged cords, water can exacerbate the risk of shock. Outdoor hazards, rain, puddles, wet grass, and damp soil can all create a hazardous environment. Outdoor electrical equipment, extension cords, or exposed wires become more dangerous when wet. Swimming pools and hot tubs, electrical devices near swimming pools or hot tubs pose a significant risk. Faulty wiring or damaged equipment can electrify the water, endangering swimmers. Bare feet and wet floors, walking barefoot on wet floors while handling electrical appliances can lead to shock. Wet feet provide a direct path for electricity to flow through your body. Damaged insulation, water can compromise the insulation around electrical wires. Damaged insulation exposes live wires, making them more likely to cause shock. Precautions, to reduce the risk of electric shock, avoid using electrical devices near water, keep cords dry, and ensure proper grounding. Always follow safety guidelines and use ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs, in wet areas to cut off power quickly in case of a fault. Remember, water and electricity don't mix well. Stay cautious and prioritize safety to prevent electric shock incidents.